Hey everyone, Mr. P here again, hope you're all really well. Today's book is called Tyrannosaurus Clip by Julia Dillinson and David Wyatt. And this book is set in a sort of forest with a river. So, in a swamp beside a river where the land was thick with veg, lived a herd of or dinosaurs who roamed the water's edge. As they hooted up with rivers and they hooted up with reeds and they hooted up with bellyfuls of juicy water weeds. Now across the rushy river on a hill the other side lived a mean Tyrannosaurus with his grim and grisly bride. And they shouted up with hunting, and they shouted up with war, and they shouted up with bellyfuls of duckbill dinosaurs. But the two Tyrannosauruses, so grisly, mean and grim, couldn't catch the duckbill dinosaurs because they couldn't swim. And they muttered, down with water, and they muttered, down with wet, and they muttered, what a shame that bridges aren't invented yet. Okay, let's go inside. Now, a little compsotholagus, but for short we'll call her comp, probably for the best, found a duckbill egg and stole it from the nest beside the swamp. And she swam with it and ran with it and murmured, clever me, and what the baby comp be thrilled with duckbill egg for oh, tea. She dropped the egg in terror and went running for her life. For the mean Tyrannosaurus and his grim and grim grisly wife. And the duckbill egg went rolling and at last it came to rest in of all unlikely places the Tyrannosaurus's nest. Now the mother tea had great big jaws and great enormous legs, but her brain was rather little and she couldn't count her eggs. You guys can count them. And she sang, hatch out my terrors, hatch out with your scaly little tails and your spiky little toothies and your scary little nails. They're starting to hatch, just like the chicks that we saw from the nursery. Out hatched babies one and two, as perfect as could be. But Mother T was horrified by baby number three. And she grumbled, he looks weedy. And she grumbled, he looks weak. And she grumbled, what long arms. And look, his mouth is like a beak. Because he looks like the other ones. He just needs feeding up, said Dad, and gave the babes some meat. The first two gulped and guzzled, but the third refused to eat. He said, I'm really sorry. And he said, I simply can't. And he said, this meat looks horrible. I'd rather eat a plant. The background disappeared. A plant, yelled Mum, in horror. And Dad said, get a grip. His sisters found a name for him, Tyrannosaurus Drip. And they shouted up with hunting, and they shouted up with war, and they shouted up with bellyfuls of duckbill dinosaurs. Poor Tyrannosaurus Drip tried hard to sing along, but the others yelled, You silly Drip, you've got the words all wrong. For he hooted down with hunting, and he hooted down with war, and he hooted down with bellyfuls of duckbill dinosaurs. Just ignore the background. Drip sisters soon grew big enough to hunt with Dad and Mum. But they turned on Drip and told him, You're not fierce enough to come. And he tried, and he cried, They've gone without me. And he cried, A lack of day. And he cried, This doesn't feel like home. I'm going to run away. So he ran off to the river where he saw a lovely sight. A herd of duckbill dinosaurs, all hooting with delight. 
And they hooted up with rivers, and they hooted up with reeds, and they hooted up with bellyfuls of juicy water weeds. As he stood there on the bank, a sudden old urge took hold of him, and he jumped into the water and discovered he could swim. And the duckle came to greet him by the rushy river's edge, and they hooted, Nice to see you, and they hooted, Here, have some veg. I think he might be trying to swim there. And the drip, who was delighted that they hadn't run away, ate bellyfuls of water weeds and played with them all day. Then he gazed into the river, and he asked them, Who, oh who, is that creature in the river? And they asked, and they laughed and said, It's you. You can see his reflection. That night, the lightning crackled, and the storm blew down a tree, and it fell across the river, and the tees cried out, Yippee! And they shouted up with hunting, and they shouted up with war, and they shouted up with bellyfuls of duck or dinosaur. Drip's sister stepped onto the bridge, but then began to frown. For there in front of them stood Drip, who yelled, Look out! Look down! And they looked into the water, and they each let out a yelp, and one cried, Water monsters! And the other cried, Help! Their mother scolded, Nonsense! And she joined them on the tree. Then she looked into the water and exclaimed, Good gracious me! The three of them stood trembling, and Dad said, Get a grip! We were all as drippy as Tyrannosaurus drip. He stood and strode onto the bridge and scoffed, I bet there's nothing there. Then he looked into the waters and jumped into the air. And how the duckbills hooted when he landed with a crash. And the three bridge and the tree bridge broke, and four Tyrannosauruses went splash. And spluttering and clinging to the branches of the tree, they went whooshing down a waterfall and then out to sea. And for the duckbills hooted, they hooted hip hip hooray for the heroic one and only Duckbill Drip. <laughs>